So we starting off the year with a bang as Javante Tank Davis goes up against Hector Garcia in a fight you guys do not want to miss, especially when you factor in the undercard from Andre to Rashidi Ellis to Jerron Ennis to top it all off. And I do have Andre Ellis and Jerron Ennis winning very comfortably, obviously. That's a no brainer. But the main event is the tricky one. A lot of people think Javante Davis is going to have his way with Hector Garcia pretty easy, but I completely disagree. The only way this fight is going to be a blowout is if Javante catches Hector Garcia early with a shot he don't see and get him out of there. However, outside of Javante catching Hector Garcia cold, I truly believe this is going to be an extremely difficult fight for Javante. On paper, at least, this is Javante's toughest fight to date. Hector Garcia is an Olympian that has over 400 fights as an amateur, so he can box his ass off. He has skills for days. Hector Garcia also has an iron chin. Plus, he has the power to hurt Javante and get his respect. A lot of people always talk about Javante power, as they should, because Javante has one-punch knockout power. But make no mistake, Hector Garcia has power of his own. So Javante can't just walk through him like he did to Leo Santa Cruz. He will have to respect Hector Garcia power. But more importantly, Hector Garcia's best attribute is his boxing IQ, along with his boxing skills. The fact that he can box in the inside mid-range and the outside. The fact that he can fight on the front foot by walking his opponents down or the back foot by countering and boxing. So make no mistake, this is a dangerous fight for Javante. I see Hector Garcia winning rounds against Javante and being very effective with his jab. Tank is gonna have to take Hector Garcia's jab away. But if Hector fights discipline like Roley did and boxes very smart, he can win a lot of rounds and give Javante a very difficult time. Nevertheless, ultimately, I see Javante solving the puzzle. Hector Garcia has the tendency of keeping his hands down. So when Javante connects, most likely he gonna connect clean. And there's only so many shots Hector could take clean from Javante. I think the main factor in this fight is gonna be Javante Davis' speed. Yeah, little B-Hop was fast, but he didn't have the power Javante has. So, with the power Javante has, along with the skills and the speed he possesses, is going to overwhelm Hector Garcia. But if Javante is going to get the knockout, he has to break Hector Garcia down. He has to go down to the body consistently and mix it up, up and down. The way Hector keeps his hands down, if Javante goes to the body consistently, he's going to freeze Hector. Then he's going to be able to follow up upstairs, catching Hector clean. But he does have to watch out because Hector is a good counter puncher to the body and to the head. They also say timing negates speed. However, for this case, Javante has timing, speed, and power. He's the full package. So we may end up getting part two of Frank Martin versus Rivera, where skills and speed made all of the difference in the world. With that being said, my prediction for this fight is Javante. By KO or unanimous decision, it all depends on Javante breaking down Hector, how consistent he is going to the body, and how vulnerable Hector Garcia is to getting hit clean. Nevertheless, this ain't going to be an easy fight for Javante. So go ahead and drop your prediction in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aachi. Aki, Ak TV, peace. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.